Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Before we begin today's practice, Make your intention clear in your mind. What are you letting go of that has been in the way of your freedom and fulfillment? I'm letting go of fear, doubt, unforgiveness, judgment, indecision. What are you embracing that is in alignment with your desire to awaken to your true self? I am embracing love. Trust, forgiveness, innocence, peace. Take a moment to write your intention in the comments below, now or after your practice. Share them to solidify your intention in your own consciousness and in the world. And now, Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. Today we integrate the next two principles of awakening into our thought system. My only function is the one God gave me. And my happiness and my function are one. Repeat these ideas slowly and unhurriedly to yourself now. Repeat them back to back together and contemplate their connection. My only function is the one God gave me. My happiness and my function are one. Do this now. My only function is the one God gave me. Your only function must be the function that is given you by God in the very same way as every cell, every organ, and every system of the body is given a function by the body. It has no function outside of the function which it serves for the body. If any aspect of the body would serve a function other than the one that is given it within the context of the body itself, then it would not only compromise the body, but it would also compromise its own life and well-being, because the well-being of everything within the body, every aspect 
aspect of it is the well-being of the body itself. So contemplate this in relationship to your function. It is as if you are a cell in the body of God. And your function is determined not by you individually. It is determined by the whole. It is determined by God. So in truth, you have no function except the function that God gives you. Within the ego thought system, there appears to be another option. An option other than being what you truly are. Because being what you truly are is in fact the function that God has given you. Picture another example of a leaf falling from a tree. And imagine this leaf is endowed with this consciousness of separation. And as it falls down, it seems to the leaf that it is directing its own destiny, its own direction. As it falls down, it says, I'm going to go left, I'm going to go right, I'm going to be here or there. But no matter what the narrative is that the leaf is narrating to itself, its movement is being caused by anything but itself. Its movement is the function of the entire universe. And so while this leaf imagines that it has an independent will and that it is choosing where it goes and why and when, in reality, this entire narrative is pure fiction. This is the very predicament that we find ourselves in when we believe the voice of our dream character self, when we identify with the body and the body's mind, we seem to be these independent free agents moving about with a will separate from everyone else's and separate from the universe itself. It is in this dream of separation that we forget our true function, who and what we are as God created us. Take a moment now and contemplate your true function and where it comes from. Do this now. I have no function but the one God gave me. This recognition releases me from all conflict because it means I cannot have conflicting goals. With one purpose only, I am always certain what to do, say, and think. All doubt must
must disappear as I acknowledge that my only function is the one God gave to me. The realization that God's function for me is the only one that I truly have frees me from conflicting ideas about what I should do, what I should think, what I should say. Why? Because at the level of personal interests, there is always a conflict. There is always a choice that then excludes another choice. And to the ego, this loss of opportunity results in conflict and suffering. But in your awareness that your only function is to be your true self, which in this world of dream separation is expressed as forgiveness. My true function here is to forgive all things to see them as they truly are, illusory appearances, and to recognize the essence, the divine light of the world that is dancing just beneath the surface of form. With this single purpose in mind, there is no conflict. Each moment is for this. Take a moment now and contemplate your function and the freedom that it offers you. Do this now. Look to the day ahead of you, the day that you're about to live, and think about the various desires and aversions that you will encounter today, things that you want and crave after, and things that you shy away from, resist, and want to avoid. Take a moment now to honestly Examine these moments that you anticipate. Let them arise freely in your awareness. And as each one crosses your mind, say to yourself, my perception of this does not change my function. This does not give me a function other than the one God gave me. And then dismiss that craving or aversion and move on to the next one. Practice in this way for a minute or so. Do this now.
take a deep, slow and full breath in. And as you exhale, relax. Allow your presence to brighten. And let's move on to the second idea. My happiness and my function are one. Your function is to be what God created you. That is also your happiness. Your happiness and your function are one because God gave you both. And what comes from oneness must be received as one. All things that come from God are one. And thus fulfilling your function is your happiness because both come from the same source. God would not give you a function that was not your happiness. In fact, whenever you are truly happy, it is because you are experiencing your true self. Some event may have triggered that experience, that perception, that allowing of you to drop your resistances and your judgments and for a moment to allow the free flow of life force energy, the free flow of existence to move through you and you experienced it as joy. Joy is intrinsic and natural to you because of what you are. I must learn to recognize what makes me happy if I would find my happiness. Take a moment to contemplate this last statement in connection to your function and your purpose. I must learn to recognize what makes me happy if I would find happiness. Do this now. Your function is to be happy by using the only means by which happiness is inevitable. That means is forgiveness, to forgive the appearances instead of judging them, knowing them as illusory, dreamlike expressions born of time and will end in time. Nothing within time can leave a single scratch on who and what you truly are. And so there is no merit whatsoever in holding grievances or experiencing upset because everything about which you may feel upset is already in the process of dissolution. It is already disappearing and fading like all things in time. And now, 
let's rehearse for the day to come in the application of this idea. Consider the things that you believe will bring you happiness today. Maybe you are looking forward to a date. Maybe you are looking forward to an achievement or a reward or a particular experience that you believe will add to you in some way. Allow these instances to come into your awareness now. Hold them consciously in mind as each one arises and say to each one, this cannot separate my happiness from my function. Nothing, including this, can justify the illusion of happiness apart from my function. And then release your focus from that perceived source of happiness and move on to the next. Practice in this way for the next minute or so. Do this now. As you approach the completion of this practice period, take a deep, slow, and full breath in. Hold it at the top and hold the intention to integrate this practice period into your thought system. And as you exhale now, relax and release and remember bring these ideas with you 
into the rest of your day. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice, please like the video, share your experience in the comments, share your intention about what you are letting go of and what you are embracing this day. May you be at peace and know your true self.